Well, good day and welcome back. My name is Mr. Yay King, and this is just going to be a quick little tutorial, uh, mostly for myself, but if other people can find it useful, awesome. Um, but this is how we get a boned character into Game Guru. So let's say you already have your armature built with your mesh, and you already have your animation built. Um, let's just quickly go back here. And as you can see, I've got a little animation built here. So it's already done. So you select your armature and your torso or your mesh or your model. Then you go to file export dot X. Now there's a few things that we want checked here. Um, leave everything up here. It should automatically be set from the dot X automatically. Uh, we'll come down, put a check in skin weight, supply modifiers, armature or armature bones. Rest position, export animations, frame rate, and verbose. Um, so go ahead and export that. We'll call it uh, Alien Respawn. Just because that's what I've made all my other files. And uh, .x, obviously. Already there. So exporting over top of it. And we want to go into frag motion. We want to open up that... Alien respawn, uh, not that one because that's in the user, but in the documents. And then this will be here. If we click on global, we can go ahead and press play, and it'll show that our guy does animate. Perfect. So now what I like to do is go to select bone, select all the bones, then go edit, select all go file export and then this one we want to save into the users file of the game guru again I'm going to call it alien respawn and yes we want to replace it now in here make sure you have the add root frame checked that's the only thing that I changed and make sure your animation frames per second is matching what your animation was um, so go ahead and press OK on that. And then this will take a couple of seconds while it exports because it's actually exporting all that animation information as well. Then we need to go into your user folder here. Uh, inside the Game Guru Files Entity User. Uh, there's a couple things you need to make here. You need to make an FPE file. Um, all I did was just copy over, I think it was the Double Doors one. And then just changed a lot of the information to match what I'm making. So I changed the description to say Alien Respawn. I have it go to a custom script so I can run the animation. I'll show you that in a second here. Um, I tell it, okay, here's the model you want to look at. I set the collision mode off. So that way I can put my animation on top of another object without it having any sort of collision problems. Um, and then here at the bottom, and this is the important part. Well, default static one as well. Um, but in the animation info, you need to, well, plain anim in editor one, that means it'll show the animation. Um, I have two animations here. The first one is just like the idle animation where it just shows them down in the bent down position. And then the second one is showing is where it actually runs. Um, go back to a blender here. Go to the pose. Um, that, that's the tenth frame here. And then if we go to the ninety, then that would be the last frame, or just before the last frame. Um, so that sets up your animation. So you go ahead and save that. Um, then what I did was a special, well not a special too much, but uh, respawn Lua. Um, just realized I don't have that open here, so let's go back into files, script bank, alien respawn, and all I have here is okay. Initially, set the animation to the tenth frame. Okay. If you press E, set the animation to one because when you're looking at the FPE, this is zero, this is one. 
So we, whoop, yeah, no, oh, that's, oh, that's why, it's way up here, okay, sorry, send an animation to one, and then I tell it just to play the animation, so if we're in-game guru here, we go to add a new entity, actually, oh, yeah, it's not added yet, so this will be the one that we just exported, and then when we put him in, he's already in that knelt down position. So let's go ahead and add in a marker and test the game. So theoretically, when we come into the game, <coughs> the bones won't be all messed up. Uh, the guy will be there kneeling down waiting for us to press E. And then when we go to press E, he'll go through the animation sequence and stop on frame 90. So, here he is. Um, so we go ahead and press E. And he animates. There is a slight problem with him, you know, sinking into the ground there, but that's to do with my animation, not to do with, you know, anything else. Um, so yeah, that's a way to get a boned character into Game Guru. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope it's helped you out a bit. Um, any questions, um, go ahead and post here or on the forums under where I'm going to post this. And uh, yeah, I should be able to help you out if I can. Um, have a great, sorry, have yourselves a great day and see you all next time. Bye.